Okay, so in this one, we're going to be talking about our React U state. So U state is a React hook, which is actually used for your actual state management, basically. And we're going to be like exploring how we can use it, and uh, like it is like specifically used in the function component. Like you can't use it in the class component, basically. And let's explore it. How is, is it used? And uh, let's see. So here we have an example. So to use that, you have to like import it from the React use state. So you can just use it here. And if you observe here, to actually use it, you have to initialize it first. So in this way, you can actually initialize it. So use state inside this, you want to like pass here initial value basically so in this case i am using a counter so that's why i've used a zero as an initial value and after this it is going to give you two things number one is your actual state this count variable signify what state is in currently in so this count is actually going to consist of your zero value which i have initialized it here and another one is the set count so this set count is a function which you can use to actually change the state of the variable so that is how you can actually use it the use state basically and here i have a simple counter here whenever you click this button and it will call the increment function which is actually going to call the actual set count function and here we have like passed over previous value which is the count here and we have added a plus one so it will actually increment it so just a simple function for incrementing the state and let's see so if i click this it has increased the value again 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 and this is how you can actually use the use state for managing the state and like uh, let's see some couple more examples here okay so in this example i'm using a string so here in the u state i have initialized an empty string and that is this text is actually going to contain the actual like state of the string and here i have a just input box and here if you see here i have used the state variable text here, which is going to like uh, whatever I type, it will actually display it here. And uh, here I have an input which is going to call the handle change function, and this is going to set the state of the actual text variable here. So if I type this, you can see it is updating the state of it. So that's how it is going to use in the text basically. Now let's see some other example. So in this case, I have a toggle button, the boolean field. And let's see. If I click this, it is toggling it. And if you see here, this is in the use state, I've initialized it as false. If I refresh this, it is currently false. And I have done a toggle here. So if I click this, it is going to call the toggle function. It is going to change the state of it according to the state variable previously was and it will change this accordingly and let's see another example so in this case i have an array here let me expand this so this array is currently empty and if you see in the use state it is the empty array and this items array so this is a spreading like spread operator here and whenever I click this add item button, so it is going to add an item in the array. I click this again and again. So this is how it is actually happening. So here, whenever I click this, like on click, it is going to like use the previous state of the items array. It will like, like have all of the previous ones and it is going to add a new one in the items array and it will going to update the state of the items variable using the set items here and uh, then it is going to display it accordingly here 
so that is how the actual reactive state group actually works and that's about it for this